Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, Fun Run, I guess, Saturday, since I completely missed Friday, uh, mainly just because it was the day after Thanksgiving. I just got Shreked. Um, day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. I didn't go Black Friday shopping, though, but uh, I didn't get around to making the video just because, like I said, Thanksgiving, everything like that. So, uh, Fun Run Saturday, question mark? Uh, that's pretty much what this is now, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. This is exciting already. You know, I... It's always when I record. When I record, I just like my fun run decides that it wants to play against the most professional fun run players in the world. Wants to put me against the most powerful, unlucky power ups ever, and it's just not a fun time, you know. Fun. Wow, two bear traps. Two bear traps at the end of that. That is fascinating. I finally got. Oh wow, that almost hit me. Can I? Can I at least get like third place? Maybe no, because this guy's got a. Freaking balloon. Wow, okay, first game I record, I get fourth place. See, I was in Silver Division, and I was in, like, Silver Division number, like, 200. I had 200 points, or not 200, uh, 400. <clears throat> 400 points, and I was climbing the leaderboards, but, you know, not anymore since I'm recording. But, uh, yeah, I've been ranting a little bit here, but I want to talk about stuff. I want to talk about some stuff here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So, today... Today is going to be talking about my very first F in school. My very first F. This is, you know, not a really fun topic to talk about, uh, just for the fact that people look down on you if you get bad grades. People, people don't think you're a great, civilized human being if you get bad grades, but the truth is, it's mainly the teacher. It's mainly the teacher, guys. Everybody failed that test. That is the biggest excuse ever. Um, so... Anyway, my very first F I'd ever received, uh, it was in a class that I absolutely, I, I just didn't, I hated, I hated, I hated the teacher, I hated the class, everything about it did not like. Now people say that's an excuse, that you can just get over it, blah 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 blah, but when you have to wake up every morning at like 6 o'clock and you have to go and spend however many hours of your day surrounded by people that you, you're really not fond of, also surrounded by or being taught by a human being that you're also not very fond of learning about something you're not very fond of it doesn't turn into anything good and it was let's see what class was it it was i think my very first f was my english class i'm pretty sure that was my first um so i almost got an f in algebra 2. now algebra is really 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 easy uh to me uh, algebra 1, I got all A's in Algebra 1. Um, algebra 2, on the other hand, um, was a different story, only because I didn't have a calculator. Um, I didn't want to learn how to use the calculator, actually. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much my thing. So, I knew how to use a regular scientific calculator, but I had never used a full-on graphing calculator. So... What had happened was, um, the very first half of Algebra 2 was just relearning Algebra 1, just making sure we knew everything. So, uh, I knew everything. I aced that part. I, you know, I, I literally aced it. <laughs> like, 90... What was my grade? Uh, after the first nine weeks, uh, my grade was a 97 in the class. So... I was still doing pretty well. So what it ended up happening was after spring break happened uh, and we came back, we started learning uh, actual Algebra 2. So once that happened, we started getting into, you know, using graphing calculators, scientific calculators and stuff like that. And it was stuff that I had never learned before. So with all of that, uh, I didn't have like a really good graphing calculator. I'd never used a graphing calculator. Uh, so... I didn't know really how to use it. I didn't really know how to use it. So, and I wasn't, I didn't really want to be that kid in the class that always asked people how to use the calculator. So, I kind of just went and winged everything. Uh, my homework, she, the only homework that we had in that class was a booklet. And you just fill the answers. And then the next day she would check to see if you had stuff written down. If you did, she gave you full credit. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to put any effort into it. And... 
being honest, that is something that a teacher should not do. Uh, if you're going to give homework and you're going to, uh, especially math, like you need to practice math. And if the teacher gives you homework uh, and doesn't check for accuracy, you're not going to do it. Chances are a high school student is not going to do the homework if you don't check it. So that's on that's on her. Like, I just, I don't agree with it. I also don't agree with PowerPoints, but <clears throat> anyway, so graphing calculators were a thing. I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to learn how to use it. I, I just didn't want to bother with it. So what ended up happening is I went through the entire, the entire Algebra 2 part of it, uh, where we had to graph, where we had to do all that stuff. I went through that entire section without a calculator. And there were some of the graphs that you can't figure out without a calculator and you know i wasn't about to use it so i went through the entire half second half of algebra 2 without a calculator without a scientific or a um a graphing calculator and completely winged it ended up getting at the end at the end of algebra 2 i ended up getting my my weighted grade was a 61 i believe and at my school a lot of a lot of schools a lot of schools, a 61 is an F, but I got lucky. My school's Fs are 59. Once you get a 59, you're at an F. Second F I've ever gotten was in my English class, my my college prep English class, and the teacher was absolutely terrible. Every single person that ever stepped foot in the class, there wasn't a single person that liked her. Like, there are some teachers that are, they're bad, but people like them. She was a bad teacher, and no one liked her, and I'm not being dramatic when I say no one liked her. Literally, every, anyone that had her class wanted to drink bleach at the same time as slitting their throat. And so, anyway, uh, that class, all we did in that class was read Hamlet. We read Shakespeare's Hamlet. That's the only thing we did in that class. Uh, we would have vocab tests every week uh, with 20 words, and the thing about it is we wouldn't study those words all that week we would only read hamlet and then we would like i don't even know like we would study the vocab words thursday take the test friday and then she would say like it's your fault like you're supposed to study at home when most of us well i didn't but a lot of my class had sports they didn't have time to go home and study all this stuff so all in all i ended up getting the first half of the class i got like a I got like a 73, and then the second half, um, the lowest grade I had in that class that was registered was a 27. <laughs> I had a 27 in the class. Um, we'll go ahead and spin this. I had a 27 in the class, but then I ended up uh, getting everything together. I turned in all my late work, um, but the, also the other thing about it is she didn't put in my late work, so I ended up getting like an actual F in the class. Uh, because she never put in my late work, um, because she never put in grades, so that's another reason why people hated her. But those were my two Fs. Uh, first one was algebra, second one was the uh, college prep English. Uh, it was it was a hard time that year. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry I didn't get Fun Run Friday out uh, again. I was busy, but uh, should be back on track here in a here in a hot flash and. Uh, should be posting these every Friday if you want to see them. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like in the comments down below. Tell me what is the worst grade you ever got and what subject was it in, and what was your con what was what was the consequences for for uh, getting bad grades. Um, but yeah, all my social networks are in the description. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get a get a hold of me because that is pretty much the only way you're going to get a hold of me because I follow everyone back so we can DM and exchange selfies. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. This was Tyler, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.